हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ चंद्रशेखर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दिस अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ सुपर सैटरडेज वेर वी डिस्कस द बायोग्राफी ऑफ एन इंपॉर्टेंट साइंटिस्ट एंड गेट सम इंस्पिरेशन मोटिवेशन एंड सम लर्निंग फ्रॉम देयर लाइफ फ्रॉम देयर वर्क एंड फ्रॉम देयर स्ट्रगल्स सो टुडे आई विल बी going to discuss about a person who is best known for being a mathematician great mathematician a physicist an astronomer and a great inventor for this person the great inventor and astronomer galileo once described him as superhuman yes guys that is the right guess i am talking about the archimedes archimedes is one of the most interesting character in the ancient greece he lived in the city of syracuse where he solved problems and created inventions for the king he was one of the great mathematicians in the world history and made many early discoveries as well archimedes was born on the island of sicily in the city of syracuse around the year 287 bc his father was also an astronomer named phidias Archimedes may also have been related to King Hero II of Syracuse. Although very little is known about his early life, but at some point he travelled to Alexandria, Egypt, to study mathematics, and then he returned back to Syracuse. There are many stories. about how and why archimedes came up with his many great inventions several of them would tell how the king hero ii would request archimedes to solve different problems and then archimedes would go off and come up with some ingenious way to help out the king you must have heard about the eureka story what was that one day the king received a new crown made of gold but he suspected that the goldsmith may have used some silver in the crown to save some money he asked archimedes to figure out if it was a pure gold archimedes was not sure what to do how to find out he knew the density of silver which is lesser and the density of gold which is higher but how he could determine the volume of the crown he was having no idea but one day he figured out it out when he was taking a bath he could measure the amount of water the crown displaced and then he would compare that with the weight of the object once he had this information he could determine if the density of the crown matches with the density of gold and getting this idea he ran to the king naked shouting on the streets of syracuse eureka eureka i have found it and that is how he discovered the archimedes principle in physics you all must be aware of which says that the upward buoyant force exerted on a body which is immersed in the fluid is 
exactly equal to the weight of the fluid which is displaced by the body. Archimedes used his mathematical skills and genius to create useful inventions. One of his most famous inventions is called the Archimedes screw. It was a device that could lift water to the higher elevations. One of its first use was to pump the water out from the leaking ships and it is still used today in some places to move water from the low level low bodies of water to the irrigation ditches. One of the major events in Archimedes lifetime was the attack of Rome on Syracuse and Archimedes devoted his talents for defending his city from the Romans and came up with some fascinating interesting inventions and two of his most famous inventions were number one the claw of Archimedes and the other one is the heat ray. Let us talk little about these two fascinating inventions. The claw of Archimedes was a large crane with a grappling hook on the end of it. When an enemy ship came close to the crane, it would hook the ship's prow and then tip the ship over. And the another invention was the heat ray and the legends says that the Archimedes used the mirrors to concentrate the heat rays and set enemy ships on fire. But this likely would not have worked this way but perhaps it was used to distract or blind the enemy ships. So with these two fascinating and important inventions Archimedes could have defended his city from the Romans. But do you guys know Archimedes true passion was mathematics. He made many discoveries and today he is considered one of the greatest mathematicians in history. He is called the father of mathematics as well. Some of his discoveries in the field of geometry where he worked with spheres, cylinders, circles as well as parabolas. He also calculated the value of pi very accurately using a process known as method of exhaustion. He even used something called infinitesimals to perform maths similar to the modern day calculus. So with his inventions, he could defend the Syracuse for two years. After two years of holding off the Romans away, the city of Syracuse was finally taken in 212 BC. Archimedes was working on a math problem when a Roman soldier approached him and ordered him to come and meet with the Roman general. When Archimedes refused, the Roman soldier get, got angry and killed him. And the legends says that Archimedes last words to the Roman soldier who killed him were do not disturb my circles referring to some of the drawings he had made in the sand. He is sometimes 
credited with inventing the odometer as well. You can imagine the greatness of Archimedes as the field medals which are given to the top mathematicians every year has a picture of Archimedes on it. So that was the greatness of the Archimedes. I hope you got an idea about his inventions, discoveries. So that is all from my side. See you in the next episode. Thank you and Jai Hind.